Are you ready for a special pirate story from our Storytime app? And are you sitting comfortably? Excellent! Today's story is called Pirate of the Year. One day, Captain Sinker received a message in a bottle. It was an invitation to the Pirate of the Year Awards on Sandy Island. You know what this means, she shrieked at Cook and Line. It means I must have won the Pirate of the Year. And she did a little dance. Are you sure you won, Captain? asked Cook. Of course I've won, replied Sinker. Get ready to set sail. The Scarlet Squid had not been able to sail anywhere since they crashed it onto the island. But Captain Sinker was determined they could fix their ship and get it back into the sea. Cook and Lai would have to think of a plan to set the ship afloat again. Their first plan was to pull the ship into the sea with a rope. OK, here we go. Let's try and pull this rope. Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! That didn't work. The rope snapped and sent them flying. Their next plan was to attach lots of balloons to the ship so it could float up over the sea. Let's see if we can help them. Attach these balloons to this wooden peg. That's one bunch of balloons and another. Brilliant! The only thing to float off was line as he accidentally attached himself to the balloons. Ah! <laughs> their final plan was to put an old cannon on the back of the ship and blast their way back into the sea. Oh, that's heavy. OK, let's see if we can help them. We're going to try and push this cannon all the way over here. Ah, thank you. Excellent. That will work. They put their fingers into their ears and waited. But nothing happened. Captain Sinker arrived, excited and ready to set sail. Cook shook his head. Line shrugged. They couldn't get the ship into the sea. Sinker looked very, very angry. <laughs> Cook suggested that they have their own awards right here instead. And you never know, Captain, he said. You might even win. And a small smile returned to Sinker's grumpy face. Later that day, an excited Captain Sinker was sitting in the audience with all her favourite teddy bears. And Cook and Line set up their own pirate awards. Now, I just need to help them get everything into place. So, I'll drag the lectern into that space there and the trophy on top. Well done. Mm, thank you very much. <laughs> and the Pirate of the Year award goes to... Arr! As Lime tried to uncork the message in the bottle. Arr! Let's see if we can help him and cork the bottle. One, two, three, four. Woo! Fantastic! And the winner is... someone who is always so nice to everyone, she deserves to win. Jem! <laughs> Captain Sinker was furious. In second place is Squark, said Cook. And Line and I are third. Your fourth, Captain. Sinker was so angry, she kicked the old cannon and it fired out a huge lump of seaweed that soared through the air and landed on top of her head. Yuck! cried Captain Sinker. Oh, Captain, we know which award you win every time, Cook blurted out as he and Line fell about laughing. <laughs> the award for the messiest pirate. 
That was brilliant. If you'd like to read and listen to more pirate adventure stories, then head to our CBB Storytime app. A harby hearties. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBB's YouTube channel.